Hello there. Today I am going to be making stuffed peppers from my Tabitha Brown Cooking from the Spirit cookbook. I got this for Christmas and this will be the first recipe that I'm going to try. I was craving some stuffed peppers and I'm like, I need a good recipe. So we're gonna see what my good sis Tabitha Brown's stuffed peppers recipe is hit for. So I got all of my stuff prepped and let's get started. Okay, let's get into this cookbook and take a closer look into the recipe. Please take a screenshot so that you can have the instructions for yourself. As you can see, the ingredients do not include any measurements, so you kind of freestyle that on your own. I prep my peppers with a little bit of olive oil and sea salt. It's a pretty easy recipe. Ingredients are pretty simple, so you just chop everything up, what you have on hand. And then to get started, you just want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Oven is preheating, we're ready to go. We're good to go on that. Um, once that is heated, I'm gonna pop these in. But in the meantime, it says that I need to put these ingredients into a food processor with the exception of the olives, which I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use the olives. I might use the olives on a few of them, but oh, I forgot the spinach. Spinach. So again, the recipe does not call for any particular measurements. So this is the spinach I have on hand. I'm gonna just throw it in there and we'll see how we like it. Peppers are in the oven, pre-cooking. Food processor is ready. Bill roll sausage cut into big pieces. Get that in there. Mushrooms, this is about one and a quarter cup. Onion, a half an onion. Ooh, this might be a little bit too full, but we're gonna work it out. Spinach, ooh child. Let me just do a quick pulse down to this and then I'll put the spinach in here because we were full. The recipe actually called for fresh tomatoes, but I thought I had a tomato and then when I looked at it in my refrigerator, it had gone bad. So luckily I had a can of diced tomatoes. So this is what I'm gonna use to substitute. And the recipe only says a little bit of chopped fresh tomato. So we'll just say a little bit. So we just gonna put a little bit in here. The recipe is so subjective. It's like you just put whatever floats your boat cause that's your business. All right, that looked like a little to me. Garlic, now I didn't feel like chopping up no fresh garlic, so this canned minced garlic always come to the rescue. It just say roughly chopped garlic, so it don't tell you how much, so you just put however much you, you like, cause that's your business, okay? And I like a lot of garlic, so we just gonna go a little extra, okay? Little, little extra. Spinach, it don't say how much going to put that up in there. I'll put more in there as it, uh, this thing show is full. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so the next Step after doing that is to put this in a skillet and heat it up. We're gonna do it until the sausage and onions are softened, so about five to 10 minutes, okay? All right, let's get to cooking. Okay, so to get things started, we're gonna put some olive oil inside of our pan. Then we're gonna add our filling to the pan and we're gonna saute that until the onions are soft and everything is browned. Yes, I am using my Tabitha Brown Sheena's Cousin spatula that I got from Target. Her name is Renee. Once everything is all cooked down, you're going to go ahead and stuff your peppers. Stuff them as much or as little as you like. That is your preference. That is your business. I decided to top with a little So Delicious Cheddar because that is my preferred cheese brand. But you use whatever cheese you like. I also only decided to add the olives on two because I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about that. 
I decided to cover the pan with foil just to make sure that the cheese melts. For toppings, I went with this pico and chunky guacamole from Trader Joe's. And look how pretty they came out. I also added some cilantro and some chopped green onion. Okay, it is time for the moment of truth. I'm gonna try the one that has everything on it, including the olives. Let's see how that one is first. Oh my goodness. That is so good. Wow. Yes. This is so delicious. Mmm. I am so happy with this. You all definitely need to try this. I'm gonna put a shopping list down in the description. If you try this, let me know what you think. I'm about to go finish eating my food. I'm about to go get comfortable, sit down, and enjoy. Thank you all for watching. Bye.